Hello. I don't feel well, teacher. I got a full, I got a call. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just listened to class. Okay. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better. Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine, fine, fine. Me voy a iluminar un poquito porque soy... Me he cambiado de, de puesto. Me he cambiado de puesto y la luz me da cabal en España. Entonces, me veo muy oscuro. Okay, now it's much better, I think, right? How are you? How are you? Fine? Fine, fine. Fine, teacher. Excellent. We're playing here with the illumination. I'm going to call you. So tell me present. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No here. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Anna. Anna. Cruz Antonio. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace. Ivo Marcela. Ivonne. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Carla Lorena. Present. Mario Ernesto. Ready. Nubia. Nubia. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosaida. Present teacher. Victor. Claudia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Mauricio. Hello, teacher. Victor. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, I am gonna drive. So I am I am going to be like listener, listener the first 45 minutes. Okay, while well, you get home. Thank you. Okay. I'm so bad. Anybody else arrived after I call you? Nobody. Nobody else. And then it's okay. Okay. <laughs> but plus. Adriana Maria. Okay. Bueno. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm a little late. I know. I know, I know. A ver, um, let me see what day it is today. 18, right? October 18th, unbelievable. We passed half of the month of October. Well, today we're going to talk about causatives. Causatives, causatives, uh, causative verbs. And you will say, teacher, what is that? We will see that in a couple of minutes, right? But remember, um, we have uh, something to do. <laughs> La teacher no se le olvidó. A ver. And as I know that you will say, no, I don't remember what group I was, teacher. I have here. Vamos <laughs> Group number one was Adriana, Maria, Felix, Jennifer, Elizabeth, and Mario. Mario, you are the only one here. <laughs> so sorry. So it's your me. Mm -hmm. Felix. Oh, Felix. Felix, Felix is here. Yeah. Ah, mire, va a tomar ventaja de que Felix está ahí. Okay. Who will share? Mario, or Felix. Felix. Me, me, me. Huh? Me, Felix. Felix. Okay. Felix. Papas, Felix. Go ahead. Okay. Passion in Y. For me, passion in Y is refers to be clear and put love in your product or service to your offers to make unique. Okay, to um, make it unique. Mm -hmm. What else? What? What else? Anything um, else? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. I don't hear you. Anything else? Mm, Anything Mario, else? give some examples. Okay, Mario. Go ahead. You don't hear me, chicos. Can you hear me? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes teacher. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Just let me let me see something. Uh huh. Yeah, they will. That I can talk about patient why. Uh, for example. Uh, an example that can uh, give you or explain this is when you feel the love to do something. Uh, your customer are going to, to feel it, right? So uh, in some case, because uh, not all all the cases are going, the, your customer are going to, to feel the same way as you, but uh, most of the time it's going to be uh, like that. Uh, if your passion is the same that why are you doing something, you are going to have clear you why. Uh, for example, uh, your, your motivation to do something or your mission, your objective, ambition, uh, you, are, you are going to be 
you are going to have clear that that uh, that things to do to do your project to to do your product uh, grow up and be one of the best products. I think that is why they have patience of what you do is important. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, Mario. Thank you very much. And now we have Adriana Sofia Cruz Antonio David Onubia. For all of you together. <laughs> In the in my group, speak uh, about the brand promise. Um, this is, for example, on the um, the Nike brand. Uh, no, only do we see its boomerang. Boomerang brand mm -hmm. uh, in in this sport a uh, product or accessories. Ac accessories. Uh -huh. They put uh -huh, they put uh, today the brand promise just to eat. It's it for example a slogan in the brand does a uh, one company okay anything else that somebody in the group wants to add uh, in short teacher it is the essence essence of the brand for customers okay the essence of the brand that sounds interesting, right? Okay. okay. Great. Now let's go for number three. Thank you, group number two. Number three, that is, let's see. Claudia Guadalupe, Carla Lorena, Mauricio, and Rosa. Those are the ones of that group. Mm -hmm. Who will chair? Carlita? Uh, Rosa, teacher. Rosy, okay. Okay, teacher. Our group uh, talk about identify your target market. I think it's very important to identify a target market. Uh, you need to know the characteristic of everyone and buy. Who buys the product? Age, income, where they live, delve into the internal characteristic, characteristic interests. And my group, uh, I think, we think, pardon, this phase would you let you know the needs and appeals the people, what are they buying, eating, and know if they are potential customer you can be everything to everyone that is allowed okay excellent okay great great thank you rosie and then we will have group number four, Elmer Fabricio, Jose Alberto. Okay, Jose Alberto, I guess. You're the one, right? Yes, teacher. Mauricio. Okay, go ahead. Remember, okay. if you are if you are uh, talking with a colleague or somebody in your house, do not open the microphone. To talk to <laughs> right. But, okay, Alberto, go ahead. Okay. Uh, 
we talk about uh, the clear and a consistent, uh, consistent design. When we're talking about a clear and a consistent design, we talk about creating something strong, something like a brand that people can, can remember. The brand consistency is the ability of a, comp a company for, or, of maintaining it in communication with, with your customers or with their customers. When talking about brands, it says, uh, of some such as Starbucks, Amazon, Apple. We think of the logos, but not only in, in, in that, but in the entire brand, everything it represents because they have been maintained over time. The way to make a strong brand is this good handling over time making it uh, consistent and make it strong and recognize it over time, not only as a logo, but all the symbols, colors, fonts, mm -hmm. etc. Exactly. And That's in each phrase that they give you, you will listen to that and immediately think about that brand. Excellent. Thank you, Jorge Alberto, Jose Alberto. Yes. Ya le cambié el nombre otra vez. <laughs> Again. Again. Anna is not here. I can't believe it. You can't believe it. I believe it. Good evening, everybody. Hi. Hey, that's on time, Anna. <laughs> Eddie, Almost. I guess. Eddie is not here and Elsa Cristina is sick. Really? I'm so sorry. So I'm, I'm here, teacher. Oh, good. Good, good. Well, Eddie and me are going to present a develop and clear marketing strategy. Yeah, Eddie? Ah, yes. Of course. <laughs> we are so, so prepared for this day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh -huh. Well, we were reading yesterday, and the first thing that we understood about uh, develop a clear marketing strategy is that the a brand it is not only. Can you hear me? Yes, very good. Those are okay. A brand it is not just a booth word. What it mean booth word? A nice word or a pop word that get the get the customers uh, you have to have all the components that make a brand uh, get goals so uh, the all the component I'll, our classmates were talking about but i can add uh, it's amazing uh, uh, that Oh my God, aquí está. <laughs> Gran estrés. <laughs> eh, we have to have, eh, a brand have to have the brand strategy that has component that are consistency, purpose, flexibility, emotion, loyalty, and competitive awareness. To be, uh, to get, goals about the brand or as a brand. So Eddie, what else can you say? <laughs> eh, okay, sorry. Eh, por decirlo rápido, ahorita eh, voy camino a la casa, teacher y compañera. Eh, Igual, pero puedo hablar algo ahorita, en unos eh, No, diez teacher, él va en moto. No, no, so sorry, Eddie. I forgot <laughs> it. No, I'm so sorry. Eh, no, you're driving in a motorcycle. Don't do it. Ah, no, 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 no. Tío, what? It's a bit dangerous. Mm -hmm. Close your camera and drive. Go straight, watch <laughs> no, it straight. No, no. 
No, solo para bye, bye, bye. <risa> Ok, sorry, pero igual estoy, estoy escuchando. Al llegar a la casa, igual eh, eh, opino. <risa> ok. Bye, las disculpas. No problem. Oh, discúlpeme usted, yo no me acordaba. Ok, we have uh, today. Que me trajeron agua, pero tiene hormiga. <risa> Están riendo, mi tía, que agua con hormiga me trae. Ok. Es que ese es el té de la noche, mis, para la paz y la quietud. <risa> Tienen proteína, ¿verdad? <risa> Ay, no. With proteins. Rush. Okay, well, today, as remember, do you remember what is the name of this structure? I told you at the beginning. Hmm? Do you remember? V, V, wait a minute. I told you at the beginning, at the very beginning, I told you. No, teacher, so sorry. <laughs> they are, they are, this structure is called causatives. Causatives. And the verbs we are going to be using are this to make and get. Right? Those are the two verbs that we're going to use. Check the structure that we have, right? You make someone, you make someone do something. That's the structure, right? Make, make plus someone and then a verb, but this verb is in the base form. So that basically you make somebody do something, right? That's what we will say uh, for you to remember the structure make somebody do something or make uh, or do something or make someone do something. So you have the marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics. What does the marketing department make? They make employees revise goals. You see, make someone is employees and then the verb in the base form that is revise, right? And the poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. So it doesn't matter as we're talking about make, right? That it's okay, you can also use the verb in another tense in this case, in past. But the second verb, this one, will always keep in the base form. So you say the poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. The brand experience offered by Samsung made consumers prefer their mobile phones. Right? Made consumers make someone, right? Prefer their mobiles their mobile phones. The high quality design of the product made me like, yeah? Made me like. So you can also uh, use a pronoun, right? In this case, this is an object pronoun. Remember, we said an object pronoun because it is, it is after the verb. So if it is after the verb, it is object. If it is here at the beginning, it will be a subject. So the high quality design of this product made me like it even. The necessity for quality products makes people buy. Remember, you should always be very careful with the subject. Here, the necessity is singular, 
That's why I use a singular verb, right? The necessity <coughs> makes people buy. So, but the necessity, which necessity? The, the necessity for quality products. Yeah. The high prices of these products made me stop buying them. The high prices of these products made me stop buying them, right? Always, you make something or you make somebody do something. The brightness of these colors make my eyes hard. My eyes will be that someone, right? Hard. The stiffness of these shoes make my feet bleed. Okay, I don't know if the structure is clear for you or if you have any question here with the use of me. Sorry, teacher, I don't get it. Uh, when we use made and when, you, when we use make. It, it depends on the tense that you want to talk. Uh -huh. If you're talking about the past, you will use made. But if you're talking about the present, you use make. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of tense. Okay, okay. Thank you. It doesn't have to do anything with the structure, right? It's just the tense. Uh, for example, if you say, my mom, when I was a child, my mom made me come every day. Or my mom made me take a shower every day, right? So uh, you're using the past and you say made. Now I make my daughters take a shower every day, right? So you're talking about present and you use me. I remember my sister made me eat all the food in the dish when I was a child, right? I didn't want to say like, no, 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 more. but she said, mm, 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 you have to eat it. So she made me, and now I'm, I'm using made because I'm talking about the past, right? She made me eat all the food, yeah? Now let's go to the next one. We have get, right? You get somebody to do. Check the difference. You make somebody do, but you get somebody to do. And look at the examples. I can get customers to love our premium services. The project manager said, so you have to get, somebody and the verb in infinity plus two, right? Infinity plus two. So we have to use two here. The advertising events will get, so you see it can be future, right? No problem. We'll get people to order products online more often. My boss got me to do my sketch order. He said he didn't like it. The accounting department got me to pay for the lost items. That pressure of the deadline got me to make silly mistakes. The competition got us to think of a fast solution to this problem. The current situation got us again, using a, an object pronoun here, right? The current situation got us all to change long established paradigms. So you see, you have get someone to do, but make somebody do. Yes? So if you use make, the verb is in the base form. When you use get, the verb is in infinitive. Yeah, for example, last year I got uh, a bricklayer to 
to make a wall in my house. I got a brick layer to build a wall in my house. Yeah, you get somebody to do a job or you get somebody to do something. But when you get somebody to do that something, you pay for that, right? So you get somebody to do something for you. In the other one, when you say, I make somebody do, it's like if you're publishing the person, yes? But in this case, when you use get, you get somebody to do something. I got the mechanic to repair the car, but I'm paying the mechanic, right? I cannot say I made the mechanic repair my car because I didn't oblige the mechanic to repair my car. I got him to repair it. Yes, I don't know if you see the difference. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Questions? No questions about the structure? Maybe no. with the next examples, we get, we get it. The next examples, you have to do them. Vamos. Look at the sentences. You're going to use the verbs in parentheses. And pay attention to the structure. Remember, you make somebody do, but you get somebody to do. Me, I'm drinking it with hands. Mm -hmm. Sí, la boté aquí en la chica. <laughs> Nada, just give me more water. The last 15 minutes ago. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's see. Customers. Customers' attention may, makes companies try every sort of a strategy. You see the example, right? Make. You have make here. Make companies try. Remember, make, we use make with the verb in the base form, right? So what you're going to do in these sentences, use the verbs in parentheses to make your sentences. Marketing helps businesses. Get customers. Get customers. To buy products. To buy products. To buy products. Uh -huh. Exactly. Get customers to buy. Hi, you see. It's, it's easy. It's easy. Let's see number three. We can't. Mean. Mm -hmm. We can't make people. We can make pick people to like 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 pro like, like or like, product. exactly not to not to with make right we may remember we use to with get but no with make you make somebody do something but you get somebody to do something. You get somebody with what purpose? To do something, right? By online stores. Get. Get their loyal customers. To help. To help with advertising. Yes. Number five. The marketing director. 
Uh -huh. Make people vote for the best ads. Make or makes? Makes. 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 Mm -hmm. The marketing director makes people mm -hmm. vote. For the best. Vote for the best ads. Top businesses. Mm -hmm. Top Aha. Uh -huh. Make their employees. Make their employees. To take. Take constant training on marketing. Aha. Uh -huh. Exactly. So businesses make their employees take constant trainings on marketing. We take constant, uh, we are made take uh, constant trainings in teaching, not in marketing, right, but in teaching. Okay, questions here. Mm -hmm. No questions. <clears throat> I have a question. Um, when I when I'm gonna to use make and when I need to use get, I know that the meaning is different, but then mm -hmm. the, in this context, I'm not really sure when I need to use each one. Okay, make is in the context like if I'm obliging you to do something, right? I'm obliging you. Like the example I was, I was giving you, my sister made me, when I was a child, right? My this sister made me eat all my, all the food in my plate. She made me eat all the food in my plate. So she said, eat it. Mm -mm, you cannot leave anything, eat it. And I was there crying and eating all the food from my plate, right? Because she made me, eat all the food on my plate. So she was publishing me. But when you use get, um, you pay somebody to do something for you, right? That's why I say, I got the mechanic to repair the car. I got the bricklayer to build a wall. I got the painter to paint my house because I'm not obliging them. Mm. I hired them and I'm paying them. Mm. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is the that is the difference in context from one okay. and the other one. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question over there? With the structure, no problem, right? Anna? No? Okay. That, that was check. Here, we are going to complete the descriptions, right? Here we have some vocabulary that we are going to be using later. Look at the words. <laughs> Look at the words and put them in order. What words are those that they mean in the, the definition that you have there? The way people recognize the brand, it may be through the logo or other associated visuals. What is it? Identity. Uh -huh. Brand identity. Brand identity. Uh -huh. Brand identity. Nice. What about the other one? The idea of the brand that people develop in their minds and what they expect from the brand. Brand, brand image. Hmm? Image. Yeah. Brand image. <laughs> The brand image, very good. Uh -huh. 
Uh, what about number three? Brand. It is the emotional or personal qualities that customers associate with a particular brand. Personality. Uh -huh, that's the brand personality. Yes. Okay. It is the emotional or personal quality that customers associate, associate with a particular brand. That's brand personality. Experience. Experience, a combination of everything that a customer goes through while purchasing and using the brand experience. Yes. Nice. That's brand experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number five, brand. This is how a brand stands out in the crowd. Brand differentiation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. But I remember because the we the C is not in the in the word the structure of C. Differentiation. The letter C is which C? <laughs> there is no C there. Differentiation. Okay. So you see brand identity, brand image, brand personality, brand experience, and brand differentiation. Later on, you will, I will ask you a bit again. So remember, right? Remember. Now, let's go back to the structure of make, of using get and make, check. Get and make. What you're going to do here is look at the first sentence. This is the situation, right? Then, what did you do? You're going to use the words given to tell me what happened. So I ha I wash my car. How would you make the second sentence? I think is Jack make me makes me wash my car yesterday. Maybe maybe, maybe. maybe. you pass right. Jack made me wash my car yesterday. Or I made Jack wash my car yesterday. Any, right? It depends if I made him wash it or he made me wash it. Okay? But of course, you're going to go to work in groups now. I'm going to share the sentences for you to go. I'm going to share the sentences for you to go and work with your friends. I have two sets, right? I have two sets of sentences in the two sets, the same. You're going to use, or you're going to make sentences. Excellent, Eddie. Bye. Sure. Bye. So remember, you say, I make Jack. I make I make Jack. Why well, may because it's in past. I may Jack wash my car. Yes. Yes, I made 
Jack washed my car yesterday. I cut my hair. No significa que lo hizo usted, consiguió a alguien que lo haga, ¿verdad? I got Betty to cut my hair last week. Acuérdese que decimos, me corté el pelo. Cuando le hago, me corté. No, cuando estaba chiquita yo me lo cortaba sola. Pero no me. <ríe> no se corta el pelo solito. Consigue quien lo haga. Right? So, just look at what was done. And then how was it done? Who did it, right? And in the other part, you're going to do the same. I clean the windows. I made party. Clean the windows last week. Okay. Any questions? No questions. Estamos bien. Yes or no? In in the second mm -hmm. in the second sentences, uh, you is God to... is God or get God because God. it says last week. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to pay attention to the tense given, right? Pay attention to the time marker. For example, if you say this morning. We use that with the present continuous, right? So you say, I type the documents. I, oh, I will make Susie. You can use future. I will make, I will make Susie type the documents this morning. Yeah, I will make Susie type the documents this morning. Mm -hmm. What about number four? I fix the washing machine. I... I get... I got... No, I got... I got Mark... I got Mark fixed the washing machine yesterday. Nice, nice. Uh huh. What about number five? I cut the grass. I. I make. I make. Oh, I will I, make because it's oh, in the morning, verdad? Mm -hmm. I will make my brother. Cut the grass. Cut the grass. This morning. This morning. Very good. But if uh, right now is 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 it's night and it's in the past. This morning. But oh, I no may. See, it's it depends on what time of the day you're talking, right? Yeah. You can also say I made my brother cut the grass this morning. It's okay. Number six. I get the bill, the builder paint my bedroom yesterday. I, I got, got I got mm -hmm. the builder. I got the builder paint my paint bedroom yesterday. yesterday. Nice, nice. I repair the fridge. I make the technician repair my fridge today. Uh-huh, exactly. I made the technician. Because today I re, uh, almost passed, right? And number eight. Number eight. I tidy my bedroom. I get tidy my. I get my sister tidy my bedroom this afternoon. In past, I got. I got tidying my uh, my sister. Mm -hmm. I got. I got. Teacher, in, 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 in this case, the verb is not in infinity. When we use get or got. 
Acuérdese que cuando lleva a hi, tiene que usar to. I got my sister, porque le estoy insistiendo. I got, I got my sister, ¿qué? ¿Mm? How would you complete the sentence? I got my sister. Ajá. To tidy my bedroom. To tidy my bedroom this afternoon. ¿Sí? I got the builder to paint my bedroom yesterday. I got my sister to tidy my bedroom this afternoon. Yeah, you have to use two. What about number nine? I edit the article. I... I make mark, edit the article. No, I made. made. Uh -huh. made. I made Mark. Mark edited the article yesterday afternoon. Yesterday afternoon. Nice. What about number 10? I got ready to clean the carpet uh, two hours ago. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I got ready to clean the, uh, the carpets two hours ago. Bye. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? No problem. No. Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo no? Pero usted no va a corregir. <laughs> okay. I didn't understand. Ah, ah, ¿qué es lo que no entendió? I didn't understand how to form the second sentence. You seen the... Espérame, le voy a volver a compartir aquí. You have to, if I say, I wash my car. Pero, o sea, usted dice, yo lave el carro, pero no, no lavo usted. Consiguió quien lo hiciera. Obligó a alguien uh, quien lo hiciera. Right. Then you say, I made, I, I made, I made, I made, Jack, sí, porque como es yesterday, I made Jack wash my car yesterday. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero esto es como, si lo tradujéramos al español, es como decir, le, le dije a Jack que lo hiciera. Hice a Jack. Hice a Jack. Ah. O sea, lo hice. Sí, así se entiende. Sí, hice a Jack. Ah, ok. Vamos. ¿Cómo dijo que se llamaba esta estructura? Cosatives. Cosative. Cosatives. Vamos a ponerlo más bonito. Vaya, check. You have, I wash my car, ¿verdad? Pero usted no lo lavó, lo lavó alguien más. Then you say, I made, I made a jack. ¿Qué? Wash my car. Yes. Wash my car, yes. Car. I made Jack. O sea, tiene que tomar, tiene que tomar los verbos que se le dan en la primera oración para escribirla. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Um, okay, am, I am, I am washing like uh, two verbs, made, get, what else? Only, only make and get. Right now, only make and get. Tomorrow, we are going to use others. But uh, there are other verbs to use. <laughs> yes, sí. Sí. Uh, okay. But right now, only these two. But it's not all the verb too. No, they are about four. So it's not. O sea, no es con cualquier verbo. Son, espe son especiales para el uso de esta estructura. Sí. Sí, sí. 
Okay. Now, now yes. Okay. Vaya, let's see number two. Number two. I cut my hair. Uh -huh. Okay, Betty, Betty. I, I, got, I got, I got very, very to cut my hair. O sea, aquí me está diciendo conseguí a Betty para que me cortara el pelo. Y en el otro no, yo hice a Jack que lavar el carro. Sí. sí. Pero, o sea, lo obligó, vea. But mm -hmm. I got Betty to cut. ¿Qué? My hair. Mm -hmm. Last one. Teacher. Hola. But if I pay um a jack for wash my car then you get jack to wash your car ah okay sí porque get es que usted lo consigue pero que le paga y el otro lo obliga pobrecito uh -huh. y en este caso qué es lo que de verdad se está queriendo in this case what are we really trying to say eso <laughs> Eso, que usted hizo a alguien que hiciera algo y que consiguió a alguien que hiciera algo. But how we how we can uh, know if if we don't have the verb make or get and the we context. can use the context. Uh, but mm -hmm. in the case of the car, if I don't know if uh, Jack was paid for 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 wash the car and well, if i don't have a, the the bird make and i <laughs> i need to to it will be the context what, because huh? if you tell me you know what teacher i made what i made jack wash my car what i would understand is that you didn't pay to him that you obliged him to wash the car that's what you're telling me. It's a order. Hmm? It's a order. Mm, not necessarily. Lo obligó. Lavalo. Lavalo. Purati. Right? Like what, uh, what big brothers do with one, right? So they oblige you to do different things. So they say, vaya, anda vos. And you're like, no, pero por qué yo? Estoy más chiquito. You have to go, right? And that was my case all the time. I was the little one. So I had to do whatever they didn't want to do, right? So in that case, they made me do different things. I remember they always made me go to the store because nobody else wanted to go. So I was the one. I was not paid for going to the store. I was obliged to go to the store. Right? So all the time they said, go to the store, go buy sauce. Uh huh, go buy sauce. Huh? I can mark. I can mark. Mark. I'm not. I am. I am doing in. <laughs> <laughs> Estoy haciendo las en voz alta. Ah, vaya, vaya, vaya. Okay, let's see the second. Or oh, number three. Sorry. I type the document. I may Susie. I may Susie. Uh huh. Type the document. Type the document this morning. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Yeah. I made sushi. Vaya sushi. Dijiste los documentos. <laughs> yeah. So you made sushi. Uh, type the documents. Ay, qué pena. Me quedó muy liso ahora. Este es mi lío. Number four, I, I fixed the washing machine, but I didn't do it exactly because I, I got my, I uh -huh. got my fix, I got my to fix. I got Mark to fix. ¿Para qué conseguía Mark? Fix. To fix the machine. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. The washing machine. Uh -huh. Eso. Hey. Andelazo. I mm -hmm. I what? I made I made my brother cut the grass this morning. To cut. To cut, exactly. Thank you, Alberto. I made my brother. No. No. No, <laughs> cierto, no. No, no. Because you get somebody to do something, but you make somebody do something. Yeah. Era trampa, a ver si sabe. <laughs> la tita está despierta. <laughs> y la mía fue guasa. <laughs> Vaya, check. I made my brother cut the grass this morning. ¿Sí? Va, ya, pues. Vámonos a las otras cinco y después se quedan solititos. Como el llanero solitito. ¿Sí? Here we eliminate the first one. Vaya. Okay. I I got uh -huh. I got what? Who? I got the builder to pay my bill yesterday. Uh -huh. To paint. Oh, you see two. To paint my bedroom just creo que sí. vamos a hacer una pausa tell me present question 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 Let's see, Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. El calladito estaba ahora. Es wow. que venía manejando los primeros 20 minutos. Ah, ah, ya pasó una hora. Sí. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz. Cruz, Cruz. No, ya. David, present David, teacher. Calladito, David, are you working? No, no, no. In the home. No I pay attention. Ah, bye. Eddie? <laughs> present teacher. Good, Eddie. <laughs> Elmer. Present teacher. Ah, vaya, hoy sí ya puede hablar muy bien. Muy bien. Elsa Cristina. <laughs> Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace. No, Grace. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer. Present teacher. Jennifer. 
José Alberto. Present Ivón. Ah. Ivón, ¿qué se me hace? Sí. Present teacher, so sorry. Elsa, Cristina. Ah, Elsa, ok. Gracie no guía, ¿verdad? Eh, José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Carlita. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mario. 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 I'm here. <ríe> Un minuto después. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Y está bien calladita, Rebeca también. Rosy. Present teacher. Picture. Present teacher. No, eh, Claudia. Claudita. Mauricio. Mauricio. Mauricio o Fabricio, teacher. Mauricio. Ok. Está dormido, Mauricio. No está. Pues le quito el, el uno. Vaya. Elmer, Fabricio, sí lo llamé, ¿verdad? Elmer, o me lo salté. Sí me llamó, teacher. Ah, vaya. Vale. <laughs> que no vaya a ser. Va, ok. Let's continue with the last five sentences. Teacher, teacher. Hola, Claudita. Ya me... Teacher. Hola. Es que, es que se verá que el internet se me va a cada momento. Sorry, casi no escucho. Uy. Sorry, teacher. Vaya. <laughs> ok, vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, number seven. I repair my fridge. I. I make the technician repair my fridge today. Mm -hmm. Sorry, tuve un lapsus brutus. I made the technician, me quedé repair, 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 how you write. Okay, I made the technician repair. My friend, my, my fridge. Friend, my fridge. Uh -huh, my fridge today. Okay. Nice. Okay. A que vean, que a mí me agarra también, que de repente me olvida de la cosa. This, this is el... When two two person are talking about a third person, right? For example, hey, how you got it? I made a technician repair my fridge. Uh -huh, exactly. You're talking about somebody else who did something for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I tidied my bedroom. I, I got my sister to tidy my bedroom this afternoon. I got my sister to tidy my bedroom. Aha. Uh -huh. Eh, yo conseguí que mi hermana, sí, si no le pagó, pues por lo menos de buena manera consiguió que lo hiciera, pero el otro no, casi que lo digo. Vaya, hay edit the article. I, I make Mark edit the article yesterday, yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. Nice. Number 
Number 10. I get ready to clean the, the carpets two hours ago. Nice. Nice. Easy. ¿Verdad que sí? ¿Mm? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Yes, yes, Adriana. Vaya. Now, I'm going to send you to the groups. This is your time to be the ones who do it. Okay? So I'm going to share. Let's see, I have 18. I will make six groups. Oops, no, six. I am going to send you in groups of three for you to help each other and make the sentences. I'm going to paste it. Just uh, check the chat. I sent the sentences to the chat of WhatsApp. And you go to the groups to make the sentences, like the example, right, that we were discussing. Ready? Questions? No questions? Easy? No, teacher. I was. Let's go. If you feel lonely, call me. Yes. Okay. Okay. We have the first one. Are you in a computer now? Yes. Can you share the screen? Okay. Let's just let Please. give me a second. I have so many <laughs> windows open. <laughs> <laughs> Cosa que no podemos ver, está bien, no hay problema. <laughs> I close it. You can see? Yes. Okay. Okay. The first one, it can be, I may. Party. Party clean the windows last weekend. Hi, Elmer. I made. I made. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, I made party, party, party. A ver en qué estoy pensando yo ahorita. Party. Party está pensando. <laughs> I made party clean the windows last, last weekend. Last weekend. Okay. 
the second one. Uh, I clean the windows. I the verb change. Make made. Made. Made party. Made. I made party to clean the windows last weekend. But with make, we do not use to. No use to. Only party clean Only the windows. I made party clean the windows. Okay. You use to with get. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I my dentist. To check my teeth. Drinking past God. We are using get. Uh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. We are okay. using a uh, get. Bueno, sería got en got. este caso, ¿verdad? Ya, ya, ya uh -huh. cambiaría. Got. I got my jeweler made the necklace last week. Um, Ajá, uh -huh. I got my jewelry. To make the next. To, to make the. Eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Eh, what, what is the me? The mm. thing that you that woman woman use in the neck is like. A, oh yeah. Como collar, digamos. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Number six. Mm -hmm. Yes. And number five. Yes, number five. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. <laughs> Rebecca, do you make? I make. I make Ronnie delivery. Delivered the fruit time for me. For me too. Put me to this morning. Here. You just have to add the name of the deliver. And also, sorry, the name of the, the name that the one is sending. I made yeah. money. I made money. Uh -huh. I made money deliver the food thing this morning. For me, for me to this morning. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I am just have a doubt. In this case, are we going to use? I'm just asking. Going to use to deliver the furniture? No. Eh, según lo que explicó la teacher, I no, think. Yeah, solo not. en get. Mm -hmm. En get, yes. ajá, en get. En get. Okay. For grammatical rules. <laughs> Number six. Uh -huh. eh, I six, uh -huh. yep, I, yep. My, uh, I made my secretary uh, write the report uh, this afternoon. Sí, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. As the teachers say. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, DC. Mm -hmm. I got a builder to repair the roof last month. No, espérenme. Estoy uh -huh. leyendo. <laughs> Están muy juntas. Uh -huh. Ay, no tengo estigmatismo. <laughs> tengo estrabismo, ¿no? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Espérame, espérame, espérame. This number seven. I got a builder to repair the roof two weeks ago. Uh huh. Yes. Revenue number eight. My voice is Number eight. Mm -hmm. I I got a builder. Build another to build. Book. To be to build to build another room last month. Aha. Eso. Así. Bien, bien. Good, good. <laughs> Sería la. Ya me quedé. Number nine. La nueve, la nueve ¿eh? Ajá. My, I got my hairdresser, hairdresser, eh, to, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta? To die, die. Ah, die, pero no morir, vea. Ah, ajá, acaba, acaba, por eso que no estaba seguro. I got my hairdresser, eh, to dry my hair, hair, two weeks ago. Así, ¿verdad? Sí. Mire. Uh -huh. sí. Van a disculpar si me pueden, si alguien hace la 10 que se me descargó el celular. Si alguien hace la? La 10 se me descargó el celular. Ah, la 10. Ok. Eh, I, ajá. I made, made my banker, send the money, my banker, send the money last week. Uh -huh. Iba con, con get, no. Con no, make. No, no, ah, make. Make, pero. Ah, ah pues. Ahí está. It's supposed that we finish, teacher. We finish. Ok. Ve que estaba fácil. Ponga sí. más. Sí. <risa> <risa> más que Eddie, no, Eddie Jonathan nos, nos explicó. Esa. Es que algunas cositas me recuerdo, otras se me olvidan. <risa> Vamos después. Gracias, Rebeca y Eddie y Miss. Gracias. Ok, how was it? Oh, was it easy? Sorry, teacher. Este, no sé qué me pasó, pero me, me había salido y hasta ahorita me voy conectando. Ok. Sí, eso vi que de repente estaba afuera. Vamos a ver. Ready to check. A ver. I clean the windows. Eh, you will put it in the screen, teacher. Mm -hmm. eh, oh, just you are asking just uh, with uh, our own words? No, with your own words, no. The, the correct form of doing the sentence? No, es que esperaba que lo pusiera en la pantalla. <laughs> Pero I'm no. cheering. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Ay, no. no me digan que no estoy cheering. <laughs> <laughs> Qué barbaridad. Vamos a ver. Ahí está. Ok. No one. Ay. I made Patty clean the window last week. I made, ¿verdad? Sí. I made, I made Patty clean the windows last week. Very good. Number two. I got my dentist uh -huh. to check my teeth last week. 
Exactly. I got my dentist to check my teeth last week. Number three. I made my secretary print the document last night. Nice. Nice, nice. Number four. I I got I, my jewelry, jewelry, jeweler, my jeweler. I to got make my jeweler the necklace. To uh -huh. make the necklace. The necklace ah. last week. Nice. Number five. I, I made Ronnie mm -hmm. deliver the furniture this morning. Exactly. Number six. I made my secretary write the report this afternoon. Okay, great. Number seven. I got a book. I will just repair the roof two weeks ago. To repay. Two? Uh-huh, exactly. To repay. I got a builder to repay the roof two weeks ago. Exactly. Exactly. Number eight. I, build, I got a builder to build another room last month. Mm -hmm. Great. Number nine, I dyed my hair. I got my head dressed to die. Die, how, how is this pronunciation? Die. Die. Die my hair two weeks ago. Nice. And number 10. I made I my, my bank send the send money, money last week. Mm -hmm. Yes. I made my bank account last week. Questions. No questions. Mm -hmm. uh, there are sections for this ruler, teacher. Mm, no. No. Okay. Thank you. No, because they, they are only five verbs in the cost. They are only five verbs. So if you're using make, you use the same structure every time. It's the same. If you use get, you always have to add two. Mm -hmm. okay. Right. okay. In the, well, a couple of minutes ago, remember we were doing this exercise, right? Where you were guessing the, 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 okay. Well, uh -huh. Okay, now what you're going to do is match the components, match the branding components to the descriptions. Um, we have, hmm, yeah, but I'm going to make you, I'm going to send you for five minutes. Five minutes only. Only. To... Only five minutes. No, menos, verdad? <laughs> to match the vocabulary. Five minutes and then I call you back. Check, check. Join, 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 join. Vamos, somos a complete book, a complete group is here. Teacher, no puede entrar a la sala que me envió. Claudita, ¿qué le pasó? Problem. I am problem. Yeah. No, you are no problem. You have problem. 
Exacto. Vamos a mover a Ivonne a ver si se logra agregar a un grupo. Mario. Mario. Mario, la vez anterior tampoco entró. Mario, hello. Mario, ayude, Radio Wake. Excellent to wish consumer are familiar with the distinct, distinctive quality and of a brand. No. Yeah. No. Perceived quality is the number one. The yeah. customer's perception of the overall quality or superiority of a product. Number two. Mm -hmm. sí. Number, two. number one is excellent to which consumer. No. I don't know. Okay. Brand associations. No, no, no. Mm. information is considered a In number four, brand loyalty is the customer consistently purchase growth from their preference brands, regardless of convenience or price. The second. Number four. Four, yes. Maybe number one is the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer mind when the brand is discussed. Okay. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, yes. Okay. Send <laughs> to which customers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of friend. Yo creo que la tercera es all information. No, la tercera. Excellent. Ahí. Wish. Mm -hmm. Brand, ¿cuál? Associations. Number three. Mm -hmm. All information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers product from the preferred brands, regardless of convenience or prices. That sounds... Uh... Brand association, ¿verdad? Brand awareness. Ah. <laughs> think mal. <laughs> sí, I think. Me too, don't worry. Pero... <laughs> Mira, dice, the attributes of a brand that come into the consumer's mind when the brand is discussed is brand loyalty. Sí, yo creo, fíjese. 
que si estoy nulo un poco, pero... Number four. En español sería eso, lealtad a la marca, ¿verdad? Brand awareness. Mm. Disculpeme. No, pero si no. At awareness, it's like conscience. Brand awareness. I think the brand loyalty is extend to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Yes, it is true. And the number and the number number two is number four. Mm -hmm. number two is number four. <laughs> it's 24. <laughs> okay, uh, pero, bye. ¿Qué dijo ese de, de, de four loyalty? The brand loyalty is the extent to which consumers are familiar with the distinctive qualities of a brand. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know. <laughs> what, what, what is that one, Alberto? Uh, brand loyalty? Mm -hmm. No. 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 So, is all information that is considered in the realm of intellectual property that offers competitive advantage and that it should not be disclosed. What is it? Uh, proper, proper, proprietary assets? Yeah. Yeah. Why, okay? <laughs> the... Yeah. The fourth uh -huh. is the number five. Ah, ah exactly. Uh -huh. I was thinking the same, but I'm not so sure. I was not so sure. We we already wrote it. Wrote, no, wrote, wrote it. Oh. No, I think I say me, the number property. three is the second one definition. An association. Mm. Nos pasaron examen la teacher ahorita. Apuntados. <laughs> number three is not correct. No, this is number one. Brand awareness. Number three, I think it is all information that is considered a law. Me llega que si ponen atención. Por eso lo hago, fíjense. <risa> pero es que ya manché todo aquí en mi, mi librito pues sí, eso quiere decir que si sí, you are working ajá what, what, what was perceived quality right. yeah. customers Brand consistently consum, customers consistently purchase is the number one ok 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 ajá uh -huh. Brand, uh, brand associations uh, is the number all information like in place of all information that is no no this is the number five hay hay palabras claves a las que no le están poniendo atención verdad es como algo chocos <laughs> somos segatones teacher es que confunden Usted vio la era del hielo, ¿ya? <risa> Se gató. Ana, Ana. ¿Ah? All information that is considered is the number five. 
Ok. Uh -huh. So the problem is what's teacher finish. Estamos bien. Estamos bien. Oye, este mi labio. Sí. Ok. Very good. Vaya, vámonos. Okay. <laughs> Gracias, niñas. Gracias. Gracias. Because we still, o lo dejo haciendo el otro de un solo. ¿Qué decir? Está bien. Still... Sí. No. Tenemos the... a la experta con nosotros, Tiche. Ok, perfect. <laughs> using, using the same vocabulary. You go to do the second part. Check, think about national brand and identify the components that we were talking about here uh, of the brand of the branding strategy. And then you pay attention to this question. Right? Okay. What are some associations to this brand? So a national brand that you will choose, right? So first you have to choose a national brand and then identify the components of that brand. What are some associations to the brand? Are those associations effective to, compose, to, pos, to position the brand in this customer's minds? Yes or no? Aquí la responden aquí mismo, yo creo que les cabe. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. A ver, number two is okay. Number five and three, two. At number one and four. Mm -hmm. Yo tomé screen de cómo lo teníamos antes. Change the order. Number one, two, and three is correct. Number, no. Number two, number two, five, and three are correct. Carla. Yeah. Sure. Solo okay. cambia el uno y el cuatro. That's it. Uh -huh. Ahí es four. Y en el otro es one. Uh -huh. Bye. Now that you have uh, the definitions, you know what each of the things are, go to activity eight. In activity eight, you have to think of a national brand and then identify the components of the branding strategy in that national brand. How are you going to do it? Answering the questions in activity eight. Los voy a, los iba a sacar, pero mejor terminen con el grupo, right? And then you share. Any question here? No, teacher. Suba. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Yo. Vaya, suba, Carlita. Vaya, check. Here you have the questions, right? These are the questions that you are going to answer about a national brand, cualquier national brand that you choose. Okay. What are some associations to that brand? Are, they, are those associations effective to position the brand? Eso es lo que me van a responder each of the questions here, right? About the components of the branding strategy. Okay? Okay. Yes. Nice, nice. Aquí ya estuve. Oh my God. <laughs> A ver, how did you get it? Eh, kind of teacher. Ah, a ver, chequemos. Um, 
Este, vale, pero voy a compartir la, 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 la cosita esta, teacher, voy. Vamos a ver, ahorita, permítame que me lo estoy mandando al correo. Es que no tengo WhatsApp en la compu. Oh, ¿por qué pues? Pero, pero ya, me, ya me llegó el correo, teacher. ¿Y yo por qué pues? <ríe> Yo aquí en mi casa sí ahí tengo el WhatsApp abierto. Afuera no lo conecto a ninguna. Y ese teacher que, que yo no sé por qué no lo tengo, nunca lo he tenido. Sí, es más fácil. Es más fácil. Es que fíjese que a mí en el trabajo me da pena que vayan a decir que yo viendo el WhatsApp paso. No, por eso lo conecta a su compu, no a la compu del trabajo. Como yo solo la compu del trabajo, ¿ves? Ah, no, y cómo no va a estar uno viendo el WhatsApp si no le mandan el mismo jefe de todo, pues al celular. Sí, es tremendo. Si, pues, si no contestó, ¿qué le van a decir? ¿Por qué no contesta? No hay de otra. Eh, ah, vaya, le voy a dar las instrucciones porque yo me voy este, en lo que logran compartir. What you're going to do is move to exercise. Quería checarles que tenían. Ahorita de... ya está, dicho. Ya, 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 ya. Vaya, move to number eight. Answer the questions. Oh, no. Hello. I... Ya les chequé si tienen bueno su trabajo. Mm -hmm. yes. In the match. Vaya, check. Number Who will compare? Okay. ¿Quién está compartiendo? Oh. A ver, a ver. Just give me a second. I'm going to share. Ahí viene. Yeah. Ahí viene. Ahí Vaya. A ver. Number two, four, one, five, three. Muy bien. Vaya. Now, sí. Vaya. Now that you have that, move to exercise eight. You, eight. Have, you have to think. Sí. Eight, pero allí en la misma página estaba. No, I, I mean, I mean the... It's not the correct page. Ahí está. Yes, 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 yes. Sí. Vaya. You have to think of a national brand. Right? And then identify the components of the branding strategy on that brand. Mm -hmm. How are you going to do it? Answering the questions given. What are some associations to the brand? Are those associations effective to position the brand in the customer's minds? Estas preguntas son las que van a responder para identificar each of the components of the branding strategy mm -hmm. in the national brand. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. me falta. Hi, 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 hello. Hola. Hello. Hi, teacher. Me los voy a llevar a otro grupo. Ok, teacher. Ok. Y porque vamos a pasar ya a hacer el exercise 8. Ok, listo, teacher. Let's go. Aquí en la muy... Hi. Hi. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Confused. Why? Because we are looking association for the brand. Mm -hmm. But what happened is, is we don't know. If they, don't have, if they don't have, they don't have. Don't worry. For example, we are thinking about campestre, pollo, chicken, pollo campestre. Uh -huh. That is the brand, pollo campestre. Um, 
Is it associated to another company or another brand or somebody else? Um, no, 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 no. El Don Pollo associated with Don Pollo Campero, right? Yes. Uh -huh. eh, campestre associated with Pollo Campero. Really? No. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I associate the pollo campes, campestre. With no, San pero, <laughs> pero no, Carlita, en el de, en la relación, en la cuestión de que, ah, yo lo asocio o lo relaciono con, con quién uh -huh. han asociado ellos como para hacer la brand más fuerte. Uh -huh. ¿Quiénes son sus socios? Y viendo su página dice que con Pancina y. Ah, ¿en serio? Así sale en la página. Ah, pues. Ah. No salí. Mírame. Sí, son un solo. Tienen también avícola, tienen la panadería de Juan Sinaí. Y tienen, no sé si tienen hasta una planta de, de, de energía. Wow. Son un grupo muy importante. Excelente. Va. Ah, pues sí, ahí está. Pensemos en una. A ver, a ver. National brand. ¿Mm? Quiero ver cómo les quedó. 2, 1, 3, 5, 4. No. No. <risa> <risa> Pero era lo que le decía de que vaya, por ejemplo, la Brand Association. Es, Vaya, eh, corrijan primero porque si no, no nos quedan bien los componentes y lo demás depende de eso. Number one, ¿y por qué me dejaron de compartir? Ahorita voy, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. Ana. Y la Ana, ¿qué le pasa? Qué barbaridad. Vaya. Suba. Vaya, teacher. Pero no me ah, estoy compartiendo lo que quiero. Ah, chispa. Eso. ¿Y las respuestas? Es que no estaban buenas, dice la teacher. <risa> <risa> está bien, está bien. What was the first one? The first one? Brand Award. Number two. Number two, sí. Está bien. Bye. Ya ven, yo les dije. The next uh -huh. one. Number one. Number one. No. No. Number three. No. <laughs> <laughs> number four. Yeah. Three, three. Number four. No. Okay. Bye. Remember, I told you, pay attention to the clues. Brand loyalty. And it says preferred, preferred. Estamos hablando de la preference of a product that means loyalty, right? Yo le, yo creí que <ríe> A ver, para poder <ríe> next, next. Tres. No. Number one. Yes. Ah, a... ¿Qué significa awareness? Awareness. Ah, no, de, como... la... de conocimiento de la marca. Exacto. Conciencia. Ajá, vaya, cuando los customers are familiar, porque lo conocen, ¿verdad? Mm. Mm. Exacto, vaya, what about the next one? Number five. Yes, five. yes, yes, ahí muy eh. bien relacionaron property con, con proprietary. And the last one? Number three. Ajá. Ya ve, así lo tenía yo. <risa> ok, now let's go to the other exercise. Suba, Ana. Bye, voy, 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 esperen. Está lenta esta clienta, vea, esperen. <risa> Pero me voy a salir del, del, del. No, no se salga, solo. The time is over. Yes. ¿Y por qué? Oh, my God. Bye, ajá. Bye. <risa> Pero le tomé foto. Ah, vaya, ok, ok. Vaya, check. 
<laughs> what you're going to do here is think of a national brand, right? Mm -hmm. and then identify the components of the branding strategy, que son estos, brand awareness, perceived quality, brand association, brand loyalty, and property assets. Uh, you associate them with this national brand. How are you going to do it? Answering the questions that you're given for each of the cases. Yeah? Hey. Vaya, pues, we have about five minutes. What? Okay. Oh, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. Pues yo le puedo dar más. No. <laughs> <laughs> How day is today, Kevin? What day is today? Uh, today is Thursday. Ah, no. I... No, Tuesday. Pensé que era viernes. <laughs> ah, no. No, no, no. Almost, but no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a national brand. Um, nom, nom, nom. National brand. Lido. Uh -huh. Ajá. Sí, yo del Lido, no me olvido. No me olvido. <laughs> ok, yeah. Lido. So, brand awareness. What are some association to this brand? Vaya, remember, remember, uh -huh. if they have socios, right, like other companies that get together to work with them. Mm. A eso se refiere, no con qué lo relaciona, ¿verdad? Ah. ¿Con quién está asociado el libro? Por ejemplo, we made a, a discovery in another group that el pollo campestre is associated to pan sinaí and to son avícola no sé qué. Imagine, I didn't know that. But why? Because uh, they... Son socios uh, en negocio. Pero porque le compran. O porque... Sí, sí, sí porque, porque in this porque case... Comparten, in this case... With you know, the avícola because they sell them the chicken, I imagine. Ajá. Pero serían casi Ajá. como los proveedores, ¿verdad? Yeah, sí. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, Lido... Uh, sold or sell sells sell the the products to Burger King uh -huh. to my biggest and I don't know if Wendy's too they have pan para hamburguesa yes in Burger King the is is the Kaiser mm -hmm. for the mushroom. Okay. The mushroom, the mushroom burger. Teacher, I don't know anything about the association. <laughs> That's why you can investigate. I am a. Mm -hmm. se dice? El pueblo. <laughs> <laughs> But the, the principal, no, the, the, como es, el, el principal socio mm -hmm. for the Burger King and the others uh, is, is Bimbo. Bimbo, verdad, no, Lee. Is more, is stronger. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Vaya, quédense con Bimbo, entonces. ¿Qué? Yeah. Ajá. <laughs> Bimbo, yeah, right. no, Bimbo. Bimbo no es nacional. No. You have to no. show loyalty, José Alberto. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> um, Margarina Mirasol, mejor. Ya ni nos acordamos. ¿Cómo no yo comía pan con margarina en el kinder? Bye. Bye. Yo todavía con... Yo todavía los tuestos. ¿Todavía? Sí. ¿Y con, qué, con quién se ha asociado, Margarina? Con lo, con... Sí, no, no, no. Es que es mucho problema eso. 
But you can Google it. ¿Para qué aparece el San Google, pues? <risa> Mire, va, yo, sé, yo sé que, por ejemplo, yo vuelvo otra vez a lactosa, vea. Lactosa le vende queso en la pizza, le vende que todo el queso mozzarella de las que usan en la pizza, ellos se lo venden. Lactosa. ¿Pero no trabaja con lactosa usted? No, lo que pasa es que ah. es una historia que me puedo. <risa> Vaya, entonces hagámoslo con lactosa. Lactosa. O lactosal, ¿cómo se llama? Lactosac. Con C. Lactosac. Ok. What are some associations? Ah, no, lactolac. No. My God. Lactolac. Lactolac. Ok. Lactolac. Lactolac. Ah. Some associations to this brand? Pizza Hut. Eh, Pizza Hut. Mm -hmm. One more else. I am, I am looking for. Pizza Hut. Um, no. Lactolab Asociaciones. Aso Association. Vaya, one oh. minute. One minute. Teacher, for God of love, love of God. <laughs> Repátanse la pregunta, ve. <laughs> Ay, Dios, y ni todos podemos con una, ya me imagino. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, ahí está él, está bien que le hayan. <laughs> él me respondió. Eh, no, oh, estaba eh. cenando, es que no había cenado. Vaya, y usted da, diciéndole de comida, mambre, le va al por. <risa> que ya me van no, a... No, yo nada. Ya me van a decir, teacher. Teacher, teacher. Queso mozzarella, cheddar, queso cheddar, procesado. Pero no dice con quién más están asociados. Bueno, quedémonos con Pizza Hut. Uh -huh. Y a mí me parece nada acá. Vaya, go to the next question. Ajá. Do consumers get the brand because of its quality or its price key to selection of the brand? So, why do you no, think it's quality? It's quality. And the story said that they, that they that they want to have the monopoly of the mozzarella cheese, cheese because another pizzeria have the same flavor. So they say, I am going to value the whole production of cheese and please only uh, sell us to us, nobody else. No. But I prefer petacones. <laughs> ¿Qué prefiere? ¿Qué tacos? <risa> Échale mozzarella al taco. <risa> o doña Laura. Doña Laura, have you tried that cheese? I guess that yeah. is national. It's yes, best. it is. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Ajá. Number three. Is the brand able to active association in the customer's man, mind? Does the brand create positive feelings in customers? Are the brand extensions in the market? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because when I think in lactolac, I think in health because of the yogurt and the yogurt. And, in pita and, and everything. They have yogurt. I didn't know. I use yes. Yogurt, yes? <laughs> yes. Yogurt, mm -hmm. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Number okay. brand Four. loyalty. Brand loyalty. Are there many loyal customers for this brand? Yes, it yes, is. Yes, I'm one. Okay. Do they help promote the brand via word of mouth? In this moment. But the they, use, the best. <laughs> but they use announcements too, right? 
Jesse? Yes. Are customers satisfied with the brand? Yes, of course. Okay. Bye. Go to the last one. Ya tengo one minute. Yes. Does the, the brand, brand offer the same features? Hi, sorry, no me dejaban venirme de por ahí. Bye, let's go to the attendance and you be ready to check tomorrow. A ver, Adriana María. Adriana María. Ah, venido. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana. Ana no here. Eh, Cruz Antonio. David. I'm here, teacher. Person. Eddie Jonathan. No han venido todavía. Vamos a ver. Mm, seven seconds. Ya ven, tengo dos grupos completos allá. Está. Ok. Again, Adriana María. Adriana María. Present teacher. Sofía me dijo present. Ana. Present teacher. Cruz Antonio. Cruz. No hay cruz. No, ¿verdad? Eh, Dave. Eddie. Ah, perdón. Present teacher. Ok. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elsa Cristina. Present. Félix. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace, no hay. Okay. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer, José Alberto, Present teacher. José Alfredo, José Alfredo, Carla Lorena, Present teacher. Mario, Nubia, Rebecca, Present, Present teacher, Present teacher, Rebecca, ok, Rosy, Present teacher. Rosy se queda conmigo un ratito. Ok, teacher. ¿Sí? Dancing and singing. Dancing, dancing. Singing and dancing. Claudia Guadalupe en Mauricio, Mauricio. Y Mauricio. Present teacher. No está Mauricio. Me pareció haberlo visto, pero no me dijo ningún present este día. Bueno. Ok, vámonos, pues. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Okay. Víctor. Ay, César Víctor. En serio, Víctor. No. Me lo salté desde Rosy, va a decir. <risa> <risa> ok, César y Víctor. Claudia Guadalupe. Pre present teacher. Present Ma Mauricio. Bueno, pues, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Dormido con todo. Yeah, sí. See you. Ah, pues, Rosy. Pues, se ve que vamos a comenzar a bailar con la gente. Sing and dance, Rosy. Teacher. Sing and dance, teacher. Ready, ready. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, see you tomorrow. Bueno, y Mario. En el baño, teacher. Mario se durmió. Okay. <laughs> ya se fue. Bye. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> okay. Eh, Rosy, do you have any questions? Comments? Teacher, eh... Uh, I tried. In the use enough, I confuse when enough 
go before and after. Ah, vale. It goes before nouns, but uh -huh. after adjectives. For example, if you say, I have enough space for two cars. Enough space for two cars. For two cars. Yeah. I uh -huh. have enough money to buy a pizza. Right? Money is a noun. Then you use uh -huh. enough before the noun. But after an adjective, then you say, the coffee isn't hot enough. Or the coffee, is, well, I am not tall enough. Then you use enough after the adjective. But yeah. before the noun. So you say, I am not tall enough to touch the ceiling. It's not cold enough for me to wear a sweater. So if you want to use an adjective, it goes after the adjective, but before the, the noun. She has enough time to go to dance lessons. Okay. I have enough books to read all the vacation. Y no importa, lo puede usar antes de, de, de contable o de non-contable nouns. Cuando lo ocupa con nouns. Ahí solo lo que importa, teacher, es identificar cuando es adjectives y cuando es noun. Exacto. Para utilizarlo. Sí, uh -huh. porque va antes del noun, pero después del adjective. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, eso me costaba un poquito. Bueno, todo me cuesta, teacher. <risa> Pero ahí voy. Pues sí, eso es lo importante. Eso es lo importante. Y sabe que yo, yo, yo siento que el inglés lo tengo por dentro, pero no lo saco. <risa> eh, lea más, eso le va a ayudar. No el diario. <risa> no, el diario decepcional. No me gusta leer noticias. Es que como le estoy diciendo, lea más. El, diario. el más. Ah, lea más. Un poquito más. Eso le va a ayudar. Yo sí. les voy a compartir este, allí un, un link del uso de lo que estamos hablando hoy, de que son causatives. Ahí van oh. los otros tres, pero lo malo es que está en Spanish, porque así ni modo, así está el Spanish. Pero, pero fíjese, teacher, que a mí me ayuda un poco, leo un poco en español, porque ¿Sí? vaya, yo marketing no sé mucho, yo trato la manera de leer en español para después cómo así leerlo. Ah, pero no, pero está en los dos. Ajá, va mix. Es uh -huh. un mix. Sí, a mí con lo de marketing me sirvió que mi curso de especialización para graduarme en la licenciatura fue en marketing. Fue emprendedurismo. Ah. Uh -huh. Fue en emprendedurismo. Entonces ahí vimos desde la creación de la idea de negocio hasta, hasta el final a vender el producto. Tuvimos una feria y vendimos. Mi trabajo trata más que todo, o sea, sí, tal vez ya lo final de marketing, pero sí de costeo del producto, poner precio y todo, pero ya marketing, marketing, no. Entonces no estoy muy empapada. Entonces hay cosas que me cuesta porque desconozco los conceptos en español y en inglés. Pero sí, lo que estoy haciendo, y como tengo a mi compañera de marketing, a veces le pregunto y ella me, me da la idea en español. Para más o menos. Ajá, ya, you can make a relation there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect. Ahí está. No sé si tiene otra pregunta, Rosa. No, 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 Tiche. Por el momento solamente esta es que me, me cuesta todavía un poquito 
pero voy a ver más ejercicios para irlo relacionando, porque quizás sí manejo el concepto, pero ya a la hora de aplicarlo es donde Ajá, me confundo. Donde, donde se, le, se le olvida. Uh -huh. Pero así, recuerde, eh, antes de noun y después del adjective. Uh -huh. Ese uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, pues, see you tomorrow then. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you, you too. <laughs> bye. Bye-bye.